Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made the tracks for my personal tracked vehicle. I made them out of steel and I'm using 5 16th inch steel cable. The main parts of this are the 3 8 inch bar here that I'm cutting into 4 centimeter long pieces and then I drill a hole through those. The flat part of the track is 20 centimeters by 5 centimeters and I'm laying it out for you to show you the idea. These will be welded in place and I'm going to make a jig so that uh, I can put each slide each one of these plates into it and weld them in place. Weld the the 3 8 rod pieces in place. Now the first thing I had to do before I weld them in place is to get the holes drilled and I sent those out to a machine shop just because it's pretty difficult for me to drill a straight straight hole two inches long roughly four centimeters long. Okay, I'm using this 5 16 inch steel cable and the minimum breaking strength is 8,500 pounds and the safe working load is 1,700 pounds so it should be plenty strong enough. So uh, here's the uh, the jig that I made to to weld these pieces in place. You can see I've already welded, uh, drilled, had the holes drilled and I'm using some magnets on top here to to hold them in place to these screws. These screws I can adjust in and out and that's how I got the, the correct position for these. So I tack them on the inside and then on the outside is where I put a heavy weld on. The idea is this is going to ride on the rims. The rims are going to fit between these these pieces and that's what's going to keep them lined up. So I put a, a heavier weld on the outsides and here's the main part done. Okay, I built this device to help me drill the holes um, into this uh, round stock and that's where I'm going to place the bolts that are going to secure the track to the 5 16 inch steel cable. So what this is doing is allow me to drill the holes precisely in the center of each one of these and then I'll come back in and put the bolt in with the nut and weld that to the top of this. I'm putting it in at an angle so that it doesn't interfere with the rims as it's as it's rotating around the rims that it can't uh, hit the rim so that's why I'm, it's in at a, a slight angle. Here's the uh, quarter inch nut with a um, quarter by three quarter inch uh, bolt and then the holes that I drill for this are just a tad smaller than the uh, quarter inch bolt so I knock them in to uh, lock it in place. That way it makes it easier for me later to come back and tack the the nut to the uh, top of this 3 8 inch rod. So here it is ready to get uh, welded. Okay, when I made these I made sure that uh, I lined up 3 8 inch rods on each side a little bit smaller than the rims that I had. And the reason I did that was because the rims aren't all equal in width. And so what I'm doing now is I'm going, now that I've made the uh, tracks, I'm going with this grinder and a flat uh, wheel and I'm truing up the rims so that all four of these rims are going to be exactly the same width because one of them was a lot more, another one wasn't as much and so anyway that's how I trued it all up. So here I am, this is how I made the spacing on the cable. Um, these slide onto the uh, 5 16 inch cable and then I use these little blocks of wood to make the spacing and this is how I got the spacing. I put the uh, pieces of track on all the way around and evenly spaced them so that they'll go all the way around the rim and the gap will be exactly the same all the way around. And then I marked um, every other track and that's where I welded the, um, the drive parts of this wheel which are the uh, one inch um, steel uh, metal plate. Here it is, you can see it mounted on there and they fit on every other track and the spacing allows that these fit inside the uh, slot and it allows it to exit as it's spinning around 
So here they are completed. I don't have a full uh, track done yet. I have to make uh, 160 of these and I haven't done it yet. So I'm still working on it, uh, but I did want to show you, uh, at least this shows you how they're being built. Uh, now it's just a lot of rep repetitive work. For now, I'm not going to install anything on the outside part of the track. I'm going to leave them just the metal. But in the future, I could add uh, blocks of wood or rubber or, or anything like that. So, Okay, thanks for watching.